In this video, we're going to look at how the different biological molecules that we eat, like carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids, are broken down by enzymes into smaller soluble molecules that we can absorb. So the first question really is, why do we need to do this? Why do we need to break everything down? Basically, the carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids that we eat in our diet are normally pretty big molecules. And so they're way too big for us to absorb into our bloodstream across the villi of our small intestine. Instead, they have to be broken down first into much smaller pieces. And for that, we need enzymes, which remember are special proteins that can speed up the rate of chemical reactions. So the point of this video is to explain which smaller molecules each food group is broken down into, and which specific enzymes are used. If we start with carbohydrates, most of the carbohydrates that we eat, from foods like pasta and potatoes, are in the form of starch. And starch is a polymer of glucose. So it's a really long molecule, made up of loads of glucose molecules, which in this case we can call the monomers. In order to break the starch down, we first use the enzyme amylase, which breaks it into maltose molecules. These are basically just two glucose molecules stuck together. And then the enzyme maltase breaks the maltose down into glucose, which is now small enough for us to absorb. Something you might have noticed here is that both of our enzymes, amylase and maltase, end in A's. And this is pretty common among enzymes, so it's worth remembering. Moving on to proteins. These are found in foods like meat and nuts. And they're broken down by protease enzymes into amino acids. It's worth knowing that there are lots of different types of amino acids. But they're all pretty similar, and you don't need to know what the differences between them are. Also, the term protease refers to a whole group of enzymes which include specific enzymes like trypsin and pepsin. Lastly, we have lipids, which refer to both fats and oils. So these are found in things like avocados and olive oil. In either case though, they're broken down by lipase enzymes into smaller molecules called glycerol and fatty acids. Another thing to mention here is bile. Bile isn't an enzyme, but it does help in the breakdown of lipids, because it emulsifies them. This means that it can take big droplets of lipid and break them up into lots of little droplets. And this is really helpful because it increases the surface area for the lipase enzymes to break the lipids down properly. Now before we finish, as well as knowing which enzyme does what, you also need to know where each of the enzymes are made. The simplest way to remember it is that all three types of enzymes are made by both the pancreas and by the small intestine. Then amylase is also made by the salivary glands in the mouth, and proteases are also made by the stomach. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.